Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will be unboxing and reviewing the Jackery Explore 880 power station along with some appliance testing right after this. If you are new to my channel and would like to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks for Amazon Fire devices and product reviews then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you so much. So by now you have probably heard of the Jackery portable power stations by now because they they have it's a big company that builds solar panels as well as huge power stations and they have a they have one of the biggest lines and power stations from my knowledge. I think they have about eight or different ten models. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. So they have some small uh, solar portable power stations and as well as some of the biggest power stations you can find in the market nowadays so they really have a uh, pow portable power station that's also solar capable and that's also rechargeable for pretty much for everyone out there before i get started i want to show you some specs regarding this jackery explore 880 the reason why they named it 880 is because it holds 881 watt hours of energy storage that's how much power th uh, this unit this device holds and of course the more power they they provide the more power they store the heavier the unit gets so looking on the side of the of the jackery 880 here's some product specs right over here we're looking at the model number it's this is the explorer 880 as i said earlier they have multiple models out there the battery type is a lithium ion battery chemistry which is great which means you can use this battery this uh, this uh, portable power station indoors and outdoors unlike a gas generator which which you can only use outdoors so then we have the <clears throat> capacity uh, like i said this has this holds 881 watt hours of energy storage the water support this supports 1000 watts continuously and up to 2000 watts of peak surge and the uh, it's got some more uh, it's got as long as input in, input ports go it has ac charging 24 volts dc and solar input it's got usb ports i'll show you that here in a minute as well as regular usb ports as well and uh, the product weight comes in uh, very close to 22 pounds it's coming in at 21.8 pounds for the unit itself let's go ahead and let me show you what the unit actually looks like and what kind of built-in features that actually has and what kind of accessories that you you will be getting with this uh, jackery explorer 880 before we get into that let me go ahead and show you what actually comes with this unit inside the box so you you'll be getting a jackery explorer this is like a quick start guide and this is like a like a like a like a half the size of an 8 by 11 page and it's a very nice menu it shows you how to use your power station this is the first page this is the second page and of course there's an attention there's a disclaimer here is your warranty information so this should come very handy explaining the basics and how to maintain and how to use your jackery explorer 880 and then in the box you also get this nice little thick pouch right here and it's actually a it's actually there's a, a zipper on the side and you get your power adapter and thus this does charge this jackery 880 it, it charges the this power station at 145 watts as i have already plugged it in and fully charged the unit prior to recording this video and you also get this is the cable for the power ac wall and you also get a car charger so if you are on the go whether you are in an rv or in a car or in a van or any type of vehicle you basically plug in you plug this end into the cigarette lighter and then you plug in your charging port this is the charging port right here on the right hand side let me actually bring this in a little bit closer and this is the charging port right here for dc solar and actually i'm sorry this is the charging port for to charge it by vehicle or or, or rv or van and also this is the same charging port when, when you when you're ready to charge it via the ac adapter that's included so that's about all the accessories that you get with the jackery explorer 880 and now let's go ahead and talk about the unit itself starting from the top left like i said this is your charging port whether you want to charge it from the wall or using the car adapter that, that it's included as well inside the box and this is what they call the uh, this is a, a third way that you can charge this jackery explorer 880 this is via solar panel and which they do have the solar saga 100 watt solar panel and by the way something that's very important that's needed to know that many people i don't think many people actually pay attention to is that 
how fast and how much, what is the maximum wattage of solar input that you can charge your, your solar capable rechargeable power station. Now for this Jacker Explorer 880, this can handle up to 200 watts of solar input and this is how you actually charge it via their, uh, these are the, via their 100 watt solar panel which is called the Solar Saga. So moving on to the display, once you click on the display button, it'll actually give you an idea of what, it actually gives you the battery capacity and, 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 and the percentage form and you can see that input is 0 watts and the output is zero watts. So as soon as you plug something in, like say, for example, if you would plug in your phone or your tablet, it's gonna say that you're actually using five watts or 10 watts or whatever that numerical number is. And same thing for the input, if you plug in the AC wall adapter that's included, it's gonna say it's charging at 144 or 145 watts. And if you plug in solar, of course, via the these Anderson charging ports right here, will actually tell you you're getting 80 watts or 100 watts or however big your solar panel is. You just have to keep in mind that this has a maximum two, of 200 watts of solar input, uh, of solar charging input. Then you look down here, you have a, uh, you have like a car charger adapter right here. This is, the, this is a direct DC port. Then you have two USB-C ports, and these are at five volts, and which, will pro which provide five volts and 2.4 amps of power. And then you have two USB-A ports as well. And here, which is the most popular, you have three different separate 110 volt AC adapters. This has a built-in pure sine wave inverter inside, which is way better than a modified wave inverter, from my knowledge. And with these three ports combined, this will provide you up to a thousand watts of continuous power. Now, looking on the left-hand side, you can click on the, you have a built-in flashlight and this is a toggle switch i am gonna i am about to turn on right now so once you click on it one time this turns on the flashlight which is pretty bright especially when it's dark outside so if you press if you press it one time the light comes on if you press it again that turns off the light then if you press and hold on the same button this gives you like an sos alert if you press it one more time, that turns that off. And in the back, as you can see, there is nothing there. And on the right hand side, there's really nothing here except these are, there's actually a, a built-in cooling fan here. So when the, when the lithium ion batteries get warm inside, if you're using it, using a lot of wattage, say if you plug in a big appliance, it will start cooling itself. So you can hear the fan king, kicking in in here. All right guys, so now I'm about to go ahead and do some, I'm applying, some appliance testing and plug in into this Jackery. As you can see, my battery percentage is at 100% right now. So I'm gonna plug in various things. I'm gonna plug in a small fan, put on low, medium, or high. I'm gonna try to charge my tablet and my Dell laptop. And I'm also gonna plug in a, a, a digital coffee maker. So this would be very interesting to see how well this Jackery Explorer 880 will perform under heavy wattage as well. Especially something like a coffee maker when there's a power outage. I don't know how important to you your coffee is, but a lot of people cannot function properly, to be honest, when, if they don't have their cup of coffee, whether one cup of coffee or two coffee, two cup of two cups of coffee every single day in the morning. But then you also have to get your priority straight, whether there's a power outage or a tornado or any type of power emergency. So right now, I'm gonna, I would like to go ahead and start with the easiest thing. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my Fire HD tablet. This is like a nine inch tablet. So I'm gonna plug it into the bottom USB port. And I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the DC port. And here you should see that, we're gonna see here in a minute. You can see my Amazon Fire tablet just powered on right now. And you can see that if you pay attention to the screen where it says output, now it's drawing 5 watts, 8 watts, and I think this unit maybe uses, it doesn't use much power of course, I mean it's a small tablet. So you can see that it's drawing seven, seven, between 7 and 8 watts. So let's go ahead and keep that plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Dell laptop. This is like a 15.6 inch Dell laptop while my tablet is still plugged in. Now, as you can still see that the tablet is still drawing about 7 to 8 watts, which is normal. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Dell laptop I just showed you. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in on the first AC. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in all the way on the right. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the AC uh, power port right there. And as you can see, the fan just kicked on momentarily. But then the fan, it just comes on for like two seconds and then it goes off basically. And now my Dell laptop actually should be charging right now. And you can see that the wattage went from 8 watts to 25 watts. I believe the battery is fully charged on the Dell laptop. 
but it's still drawing about 13, 14 watts, maybe 20 watts, just sitting on standby. And now I'm, I would like to go ahead and plug in a small, this is like an eight or a 10 inch fan, which is right over here. A small fan, but it's kind of powerful to be honest. So as you can see, the wattage is, is, uh, ver is it's varying between, between 20 watts and 25 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this fan right now. And it's gonna get kind of loud because this fan is kind of powerful, even though it's like eight inches in size. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the low setting and you're gonna see the wattage even go even higher, higher than 25 watts. Actually, I'm gonna put this fan facing the opposite direction so you guys can still hear me in the video. And as you can see, I put the fan on the lowest setting, which is number one. You can see that the watts went up from 25 watts to about 38 watts to 43 watts. So it's fluctuating back and forth between like 38 and 45 watts. And now I'm gonna put it on the second setting which should draw even more juice. And you can hear, I don't know, I'm sure you guys can hear this in the video that the fan just got louder. This is on medium. So now it's between 43 and 46 watts with the fan on. And now I'm gonna put on the highest setting. And I'm sure you, can, you guys can hear in the video that the fan just got louder. Now we're up, oh, almost up to 50 watts. Now we're up to between 49 and 53 watts. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in some bigger appliances. I have a, a toaster oven and a digital coffee maker. So let's go ahead and try that. So now we have this Cuisine Art. This is a 12 cup coffee maker. As you can see, I have already plugged it in and the AC power is already on for this panel right here. And watch what happens to the wattage, how high it jumps where it says output. Right now it's, it's using about one or three or four watts. So watch what happens, pay close attention as soon as I turn on the power to the coffee maker. And you will be able to hear that. That noise that you're actually hearing right now is actually the cooling fan. Cooling fans on the right hand side to make sure that these the batteries inside stay cool. And you can see that it jumped from one watt to almost 900 watts continuously. It's fluctuating between 885 and 904 watts or 900, 900, 905 watts. So you can, you can see that you can clearly make coffee and here this is a 12 cup coffee maker. So you can definitely uh, make 12 cups of coffee no problem with the Jackery Explorer 880 even if your power is out around town whether it's for a day or two or three or four days. Or... So now let's go ahead and test this uh, toaster that I have. I'm about to go ahead and plug that in now. So now that I plugged, went ahead and plugged in my, toast, my toaster oven right now and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on say for five minutes and just pay attention to where it says output on the wattage. Let's see how much watts this small toaster oven uses. And I have it set to 350 degrees on temperature. And I have it set to the bake option. So you can see that, of course, keep in mind that this Jackery Spoiler 880 solar capable power station can only handle up to a thousand watts continuously. But as you can see that it's actually providing 1,193 watts. So it's fluctuating between 1180 and 1193 watts. Uh, this AC inverter is supposed to only handle up to 1000 watts. So I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed to be honest that this is almost pulling t close to 1200 watts and it's been about maybe what, 30, 40 seconds. I'm trying not to put the power station very close to this toaster oven because I know this toaster oven gets very warm. But again, as you can see, I have the temperature set to 350 degrees. I have it set to bake and I set it to like five or seven or eight minutes. And as you can see that, the Jackery Explorer 880 is still pushing 1100 and 1162 watts or 1193 watts. It keeps going back and forth, which is normal. And I'm actually pretty impressed guys, that's almost 20%. That's about 18 to 20% above what it's advertised because it's advertised that it can only handle up to a thousand watts. And I'm gonna wait until this toaster oven, this toaster oven gets warm pretty quick. So this has been running for maybe about 40, 50, 60 seconds now. And as you can see that the Jackery is still powering this bad boy up. And I know usually something that gets pretty warm, these are the type of devices or appliances, I should say, that pull the most amount of energy. And as you can see, guys, we're still going strong. It, 1,172 watts back and forth back and forth and now the top of the toaster oven is getting pretty warm so pretty good jackery looking good so far i'm gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy off and of course guys we're gonna go ahead and actually test this normally pulls out pulls a lot of wattage this is a mega turbo 2500 
air dryer or air blower I should say so if you're if you happen to be in the middle of a shower ladies and gentlemen and the power goes out on your hair still wet well guess what your Jacker Explorer 880 will come very handy because most likely it will probably run this Mega Turbo 2500 air, air dryer air blower probably without any issues so let's go ahead and see if this actually works out with the Jackery Explorer 880 and this also give us a good idea of how much wattage this bad boy will pull so let's go ahead and plug this in and I want to show you before I start this test that it has this has a heating option it has a one two or three so once I the bottom of this red button is going to be the the hottest uh, the hottest air possible and then there's like a a first a first option or a second option and power wise so I'm going to go ahead with the first option without no heat and let's see how much juice this bad boy is going to pull. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. So once it's plugged in, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and face this on the left so you guys can still hear me in the video. So here goes option number one on the bottom, on the bottom, on the, on the black button. And as you can see, this is using about nine, eight, between 80 and 90, 91 watts. And now I'm going to go ahead and switch on the second option on the bottom. You can see that this is using about 140 watts right now between 136 and 140. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on. So as you can see there, I, didn't, I do not have the heat option on. I just have basic air. I have, I have it on the first setting, which is the first white dot, which was, which was, was, which was using about between 80 and 91 watts. Then when I switched to the higher mode, I started pulling 140 watts. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the first heating option. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And let's go ahead and start with low. And as you can see here, this is using 492 watts. It went up to 501 watts. So let's just say it's using about 500 watts, no problem. And I'm going to go ahead and switch on the... I'm going to go ahead and turn on the hottest option which is the highest option because the more heat that you need the more juice this will pull from any power station so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on and now you can see that the water jumped from from 500 to almost 904 watts so I went ahead and turned that off because this thing is pretty loud because this pulls a lot of juice so you can see that the jackery now is getting Kind of a little bit warm, not really warm, but you can hear that the cooling fans are running on. They, they just kicked on here, there just, just for a minute. So this actually uses on the high setting and on when it's on high, and on the highest heat setting here on the bottom, on the red button that I'm point to, pointing to right now. This was using close to 900 watts continuously, which the Jack Explorer, Explorer 880 powered with no problem, which is pretty good because I've seen hair dryers that pull even more juice it depends on how powerful your hair dryer is to be honest. And finally after this long review at the end of the video I was able to cook three nice thick beefy hamburgers using my Jacker Explorer 880. As you can see on the top left picture I'm using a new wave induction cooktop cooker which I was able to set on medium and my hamburgers were fully cooked in about 20 to 25 minutes without any issues and as you can see on the bottom the jackery was able to provide a stable 800 watts consistently to cook my raw meat to to cook to fully cook my hamburgers and these hamburgers were about one inch thick guys all right guys so i hope that you like my unboxing and review of this cool and awesome jackery explorer 880 and again i'm not sure if i mentioned earlier in this video but this video is not sponsored i purchased this power station on my own it was not given to me or anything like that so and as, as you can see I've tested various items here I've tested a big Dell laptop a small 8 inch powerful fan a hair dryer a tablet and also a digital coffee maker so if you are interested in this power station I will leave a link to purchase it, to purchase it in the description below and if you have found any benefits in this video then please hit that like button so other folks can enjoy it too and if you are new around here, then please consider subscribing to my channel and click on the bell icon to stay up to date for more videos like this one. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much and take care now. Be safe.